Hello, so I have with your list of question answers which one of you has given to me. So I'll just read it out to you and I'll just try to answer most of them. Um, the first one is uh, how to check pump and motor alignment. Uh, what are the practical methods which I use on board? One of the methods is like when you align the two, uh, when you bring the two couplings together, when you align them, what you do basically use a, uh, you put one uh, few studs and you check. Uh, you don't tighten them. You just put and you keep turning and you take a blade or, or you check the gap between the two flange uh, two couplings uh, if it is increasing and decreasing or it is maintaining constant with that also you come to know you can take a small blade uh, reference another method which you can do is uh, you will have to take a deflection gauge mount a deflection gauge and then also you'll come to know that's the best method and um, how to know if the shaft is bent the shaft is bent will come to know with the deflection gauge if it is visible directly you can come to know also most of the time what we do whenever we remove a, remove a motor or remove a pump we will try to keep the shims in that uh, in the same place so if uh, same motor or same pump we are mounting back then there is no issue we can align them very easily only issue comes if you are fitting a new pump or a new motor then uh, second uh, <coughs> second was cylinder head pressure testing for generator engine Basically what we do is for pressure testing we have a tool uh, either we if you don't have you can easily manufacture it or create it on ship uh, what we do is one side of the jacket water we will blank and the other side will put this um, mount this tool with a gasket fill water and pressurize it and just check from the valves uh, or from the exhaust side or the scaven side if anything is leaking you can check draft uh, all, all around the cylinder head if anything is leaking. Uh, third one was uh, color of flame in boiler whether it's blue or orange and why uh, the color of flame in boiler uh, if you see through the side glass it's always orange it cannot be blue because uh, blue flame you'll get most of the time if uh, you see a blue flame if uh, lube oil and all is burning but you'll not find I always have seen orange flame that's what I feel and uh, action to be taken if ignition coil in boiler fails and what to do if you are in port well uh, most of the time we have a coil on board a spare coil and if we don't have a coil spare then we can always remove incinerator coil and fix that's what I feel what the surveyor or what the examiner wants to know and uh, fifth question is type of main burner and maintenance inside port uh, what maintenance you can do if you are in port how you can do it very fast most of the time you'll find a pressure jet type of main burner so what you can do is you can just uh, slide it out and you can just remove the nozzle and just remove the few nuts three four nuts the, the entire burner assembly will come out and you can just remove the nozzle on the tip you can just remove it you'll have a small filter from there only you can blow air the entire line will be clear just remove this filter clean it and the nozzle also you can clean uh, you also have one uh, set screw for the um, LNT screw which you can remove out and you can clean the nozzle but I guess in port you can just uh, clean the filter and that will be enough and uh, type of main burner I did that uh, sixth one is functioning of pairing disc in purifier pairing disc, uh, pairing disc acts like a pump basically normally in a pump what happens the impeller is turning the casing is fixed but what happens with pairing disc the casing is moving or casing or the purifier ball is moving and the pairing disc is fixed so the pumping action will take place it helps in pumping the liquid from that point to whatever point is required for water it will just pump it down so for suppose um, dirty water outlet that will pump it out to the sludge tank uh, or the purifier sludge tank and for clean oil it will pump to the tank and then how to check the underside of a piston crown if it is cracked or not basically what you will have to do when you overhaul a piston you can remove the uh, piston crown and then what you will do is you will do die penetrant test or DPT test whatever you call it so after you do the test you can uh, come to know and this thing is also fine in the manual how to test so you don't have to worry about that then tie rod bolts broken in any unit uh, in one unit sorry in one unit uh, what are the symptoms Suppose if I would I understand if tie rod is broken then you will always have vibration 
you will have uh, crankshaft misalignment um, also turbocharger vibration will increase i think uh, what i feel is vibration will really go very high because this um, tie rods are holding everything together so just if one tie rod is loose everything can uh, you know it will start vibrating and also your foundation bolts so chokes will get loose and possibility of fretting around the um, mating surfaces and uh, okay so next question is buffer tank or mixing column function uh, in fuel oil system as we all know sometimes we have buffer tank or air venting tank or mixing column mixing column basic the prime function is to vent out any gases or uh, any vapor lock if it takes place so that um, the it the vapor lock or air lock doesn't go inside the pump and doesn't uh, drop the pressure so also it helps and a uh, small amount of heat is given uh, it's able to supply some amount of heat or some amount of emergency fuel you can say but main purpose is uh, only venting out the uh, gases or any air so that was the ninth question tenth one is jacket water of one unit main engine showing 40 degrees causes an action i doubt it can show 40 degrees so what i will suspect first is um, it has to be your faulty temperature gauge or faulty temperature sensor uh, because 40 degrees is very impossible for me if you ask me because always if when you are trying to maintain 80, 80 85 degrees celsius and if you are trying to maintain 80, 85 degrees celsius inlet will always be around 65 to 71 so in that case it is very uh, it is very difficult that it could be 40 degrees celsius which uh, i don't know if he has made any mistake uh, while giving me this question but uh, what i feel it shouldn't it cannot be 40 degrees because the only reason it can be 40 degrees is malfunctioning of your uh, faulty uh, thermo thermometer or a faulty temperature sensor or your pocket is having some amount of uh, you know what you call scale formation so because of that it is not able to show proper temperature then reciprocating pump overall i think this procedure you can find uh, uh, in manual uh, reciprocating pump overall basically depends it will be a long procedure i think discussing here will be very difficult but you can remove the top cover and uh, first isolate the pump uh, all those uh, primary basic things you can do isolate the pump remove the top cover you can remove the um, clean the valves and then uh, if you want to uh, overall the engine you can overall from side disconnect uh, proper diesel procedure i will try to uh, share a link uh, if i find all these things even for tie rods you can find in marine inside a very good website i i i'm sure most of you might be using it but uh, again i would like to mention it and also some of uh, some of you had mentioned me about a dd website i had posted a link in my um, discussion tab i hope you guys can see that and also i'll try to post it here if i remember thank you uh, i think uh, I hope you have liked this video. Uh, okay, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any more doubts, any more questions, you can always post. I'll be very easy to help. Actually, I didn't plan to do this video, but uh, a few guys have been asking me a lot of questions, and this questions were asked, and it was a very big list, and uh, typing it will have been very uh, time-consuming. So I thought making a video will be a faster approach. So hope. I have solved most of the questions and satisfied your answers. Thank you.